say four words. And that's it. <laughs> Rocky Horror Cast Bonding. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. You know what that means? You know what it means? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be involved in theater. It could be anything. Something that just has happened here at your time at the University of Florida. I think not many people remember and need to be reminded about the time that Julie convinced John Mark Jernigan to jump off our roof into a bush and he wasn't even drunk. <laughs> so um, that was probably my fondest. That or when Daniel hit Ryan Ruby with his car. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of those. Destruction. Cool. Used to be a fond memory. All right, cool. Um, one of my crazy stories still was the summer between my freshman and sophomore year, I came up to Gainesville for just a weekend and um, and me and Annie, <laughs> me and Annie went out and partied, and um, we found these randoms, and we played Drunk Twister for a while, and then we went and jumped in the pool in our underwear, and at this point in my life, that was unheard of, um, and then got kicked out and then jumped back in the pool, and then went and played more Drunk Twister, and before this, we were actually in the same apartment complex that um, Dan, Ron, and Juliet used to live in. And we went over and were like banging on their door trying to get them to let us in and they weren't even home or calling them and they're not answering and neighbors were complaining and it was, um, it was a good time. <laughs> I guess the funny thing that always happens to me with Florida players is that eventually people know I'm not a theater major and so they talk to you and you're like, hey, and then one day they just come up to you and they're like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, for the record, everyone, I'm a communication science and disorders major, and I'm going to get my master's in speech pathology next year. So I want to be a speech pathologist. And essentially that means that I don't act, I can't sing pretty, <laughs> and I only dance when I'm drunk. So, <laughs> you will always see me in the audience, ever. Okay. Eric! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, up top. You wanted the craziest story, the fact that fucking Eric Delgado is going to Cafe Risque. <laughs> it that's is. That's the craziest story that's of a, the year, man. Yeah, that is. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> the craziest story I have is the inception of Spice and Rice. Because a lot of people don't know how Spice and Rice came to be. So I will explain the story. <laughs> Fall semester, signs of life, we needed a DJ. So, uh, in the hallway, Josh Salerson and Olivia, the dancers, they were uh, planning for a big birthday party. And I was like kind of half joking, like, yeah, yeah, we'll strip at your party if you uh, pay for us. And Josh Salison was all about it. So we worked out a deal where they paid us to uh, strip at the party. Josh bought the outfits, this very thin-laced, almost see-through man thong, and then a candy man thong to put on top of it. So the day the party comes, I go to Alex's house and we got we to gotta get ready. So Don't the, to me. The, thing, <laughs> the thing is, when we, when, we, when we did it, the man candy man thongs were kind of big. So, we kind of had to tape the man thongs to each other. And let me tell you something. When you have to tape a, man, a candy man thong to another man, you're, you're, you're like this, son, for the rest of your life. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but <laughs> me and Alex are like this. So, <laughs> so we get there, we, 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 we go over our routine because we choreographed the routine, and then we get to the party. We get to the party. We thought it was just going to be the theater and dance people there. We walk in, there's a shit ton of motherfuckers we don't even know. As soon as we come in... Motherfucking Chelsea Yvonne Smith makes it even worse. She goes, as soon as we walk in, the strippers are here! <laughs> Fuck, we were like, holy crap. And Alex looks at me and goes like, dude, I need a drink. So he goes, gets some drinks. We go in there. He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. We pop in the music. And we just do our whole routine and stuff. And then we do the tearaway pants thing. And we had this routine to come after the tearaway pants. But, uh... But Alex, in his drunken stupor, I guess, and very excited, just forgot the rest of the choreography and was just doing this the whole time. <laughs> With his tongue thing. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but he does that a lot when he dances. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, from that day forward, that's how Spice Rice came to be. <laughs>